Finally, I decided to go back to the Chrome App Store to try to find something to kill some time. And what better way to kill some time than to play a game? While browsing around, I did find one game that kind of reminded me of Pitfall from the old Atari era, just with better graphics. That game is what we're going to be looking at today. Introducing Spelunky. Although it does have an interesting name, it is an independently made game that was released not just for the Google Chrome App Store, but PSN and Xbox Live as well. So let's dive right into the catacombs that will surely be our grave. The whole point of the game is to collect the treasure and go spelunking. So all you have to do is get the gold and the gems, kill off the bad guys, save the girl, and reach the end of the level without any extra hassles. That is easier said than done. When I first started to play the game, I did start to notice one thing, and that is that this game is extremely difficult. The tutorial levels of the game are the easiest part of all of it. However, once you jump right into the game, you have to avoid many traps and hazards that could either potentially harm you or just straight out kill you. Every time you die, the level restarts completely randomized, so nothing ever stays in the same place twice. As for the controls of the game, all you had to remember is that the arrow keys are to move, ZXC keys are for jumping, running, and picking up items or selecting items. Speaking of items, you do have a wide selection of things to use to make your journey easier, one of which are the bombs. These will allow you to clear up some walling to get to the other side of something or just to open up new pathways. The next item you will use the most is the rope. The rope allows you to climb up to higher places to avoid hazards or to get treasures from the other side. At one point, a giant rock tried to crush me and I was able to avoid it by climbing upward. You do get some weapon upgrades, which your first weapon is a whip, which is almost useless, but you can buy guns later down the road, if you can keep them long enough. You do have a flare, but I never got a chance to use it. The game is so well lit as it is, I don't think there really was a purpose to it. Let's talk about the traps. As I mentioned before, there are traps and hazards you do have to watch out for. These can either get really annoying or pretty clever. One of the most common traps and are the most annoying are the arrows that pop out of these special blocks. One moment, you could be trying to reach something and you're almost out of health and then BAM! This arrow comes out of the blue and just kills you. You can avoid them by tossing something in front of them, but this is a beginner's trap. You will fall for these a lot more than just one time. Another trap is the classic boulder much like from Indiana Jones. Once you pick up a golden statue, the screen will start shaking and no matter if you're in the flat surface or not, a giant boulder will gravitate straight for you. The first time this killed me because I thought it would go the other way. The second time I was able to avoid it. The hazards in this game are nothing special, spiked flooring, hidden monsters and vases, but once you master everything, you'll survive a little bit longer. Although I did die a lot in this game, it did prove I suck at gaming sometimes. I did have a lot of fun playing through this game though. It is free to play and you can download it from the Google Chrome App Store or if you want to get the console ones, it's available on the PlayStation Network or even Xbox Live. So if you need something to play, give Spurlunky a try.